you are glad to teach we would be learning the factorization of type 2 quadratic equations that is those quadratic equations which have some visible coefficient of the x squared term so first you give it a try and then I'll tell you how it's done you have 10 seconds start your time is over so now let me do it 2 times minus 9 is minus 18 2 factors of 18 whose sum or difference is 3 would be adjusting the signs it would be negative 6 and positive 3 now dividing by this coefficient 2 and this fraction can be written as so these are the factors just change the signs and we have solved the equation x equal to minus 3 over 2 and x equal to 3 so have you understood it I'll explain it to you the easy cal trick to do the factorization of the type 2 quadratic equations is very simple it works on this idea that we can convert the type 2 quadratic equation to type 1 by transferring this extra coefficient 2 here that is we multiply the coefficient of x square with the last term so 2 multiplied with minus 9 will give us minus 18 so now this minus 18 replaces this minus 9 as the last term so from here on you already know what needs to be done 2 factors of 18 whose sum or difference is 3 would be right 6 and 3 now we can adjust the signs since the difference is a negative number that means the bigger number must have been negative and with that we have even taken care of the negative product see minus 6 times 3 is minus 18 and the sum of minus 6 and 3 is minus 3 so that means we are on the right track now the next step is very important since we initially multiplied with this 2 for our convenience so now to undo the effect of that multiplication we are going to do the division as you know that the multiplication and the division are inverse functions that is they are opposite of each other they undo each other's effect so now we would divide with this coefficient 2 so with that we get our two factors in fact we can simplify this fraction further 2 minus 3 times is minus 6 and once we have the factors you know how easy it is to find the roots we just have to make the signs opposite so this minus 3 will become plus 3 and this plus 3 by 2 will become minus 3 by 2 that's it question solved So let me just quickly repeat it for you that we can easily convert the type 2 quadratic equation to the type 1 by transferring this extra coefficient over here that is we are going to multiply the coefficient of x square with the last term and then to undo the effect of multiplication we are going to do the division with that same coefficient the rest of the steps are exactly the same as the type 1 equation so you already know them so now you have to solve this equation and I'm really sure that you can do it very easily start did you get the answer the first step is to multiply the coefficient of x square with the last term 3 times minus 7 is minus 21 find the suitable factors now 2 factors of 21 whose sum or difference is 4 would be 
Now adjust the signs. Since the difference is positive, therefore the bigger number must have been positive. And since the product is negative, therefore the other number must have been negative. See, 7 times minus 3 is minus 21 and 7 minus 3 is 4. So now divide with the coefficient, this coefficient. This fraction can be further simplified. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And with that we have got the two factors. Now to find the roots, just make the signs opposite. So this will become minus 7 by 3 and this will become plus 1. I will write it separately. So the question is solved. The two roots are x equal to minus 7 over 3 and x equal to 1. In case somebody asks you the factors of this quadratic equation, then you can easily say the factors as well. One factor would be x minus 1 and the other one would be x plus 7 over 3. But the more proper way to write this factor would be to transfer this denominator 3 here. That is, just remove it from here and put it here as the coefficient of this x. Now this is looking much better.